is HRT actually going to affect your uterus? Because this is where we get stuck and caught up and freaked out sometimes as women. But hey, I got your answers for you. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women. And I also love giving hormones to women who feel miserable in that hormonal transition. So what you need to know and think about, okay, you have to think about estrogen as being like your uterus's fertilizer. So in the lining, it fertilizes that lining. It's like, ooh, we're fertile. We got our things going on. Throw that fertilizer on that lining and grow, 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 grow. Well, when you're in your 50s plus and you haven't had a period in a very long time, you should not be growing a lining. And the problem is if you just just keep adding fertilizer to that lining, you're going to grow weeds in that field. And what I mean by weeds in your uterus is you could get overgrowth of the lining that becomes abnormal. And this can either be hyperplasia or goodness forbid endometrial cancer. So this is why we harp on the need for uterine protection. Okay, what that means is if you are going to put fertilizer in your system so that you feel great in every other part of your body, you need to get a weed whacker into the mix. And that is the progesterone. That is why you need the progesterone because it is going to mow that lawn and keep it short and tight so that A, you don't grow a lining and B, no weeds are going to grow and cause you a problem that could be dangerous in the future.